This is Lesson 108, VHDL Example 74, and in this example we'll design a screensaver. We'll use the loon picture that we saw in the last lesson, how we could display it on the video screen by storing it in a block ROM. And remember in that example, we moved the image around using the uh, switches. We see that all we have to do is change the values of R1 and C1, the location of the upper left hand corner of the image. If we change those, that moves the image. So the idea is to write some sort of a program which will cause R1 and C1 to change such that the image of the two loons bounces off of the sides of the screen. Well here's what we can do. Let's take a look at this bounce algorithm. Suppose we start with C1 and R1 of 80 and 140, that is it's sitting here, and if we wanted to move it at 45 degrees, we need to increment C1 by 1 every clock cycle, say, and decrease R1, and then it will move at 45 degrees. So we'll set delta C1 to 1 and delta R1 to minus 1 to begin with, and then we'll go into this infinite loop and set C1 to C1 plus delta C1. That increments C1 by 1 in this case. R1 is R1 plus delta R1. That decrements it. So every clock cycle it will move along like this until R1 gets to 0, in which case we want to turn around and bounce off. Well, we want C1 to keep incrementing but now we want R1 to start incrementing, because remember Y increments down the screen. So if C, if, if R1 is less than 0, that would be this one, then we set delta R1 to minus delta R1, and then it will continue to move in this direction. Once it bounces off the top wall, we want it to bounce off the side wall next. That will occur when C1 gets to the 640 minus the width of the image. So that would be C1 becomes greater than or equal to C1 max. Then we'll let delta C1 be minus delta C1. So now it starts moving down in the minus 45 degree angle to bounce off the bottom, that will occur when R1 becomes greater than R1 max, where R1 max would be the 480 minus the height of the image, in which case we invert up delta R1 again, so now it will start moving up this way, and the left hand wall to bounce off of that, that occurs when C1 is less than zero in which case we switch delta C1 again. So this algorithm should cause the image of the loons to bounce off the walls. Well here's a top level design. Here's our loons in the block ROM that we had in the last lesson. Clock, div, and VGA640 by 480 are the same. Here's a little bounce algorithm so the bounce algorithm's job is to uh, output the C1 and R1 into this BGA screensaver module, which will then display the loon at C1 and R1. Now, we're going to implement this algorithm using the same technique we used uh, for the GCD algorithm, the square root algorithm, you remember. So we'll have a go pulse we have to generate to stop the bounce. This go will come out of clock pulse. So when we push button zero, we'll stop the whole thing going. So let's write the bounce algorithm. Here's the algorithm. So basically while not go, we're going to wait to push go in this case. So remember the trick that we used. We have calc here, and if we set calc to 0, we'll initialize uh, C1 and R1 variables to 80 and 40. Uh, delta 
C will be plus 1, delta R is minus 1, which is all 1's. And then on the rising edge of the clock, if go is 1, you remember we set calc to 1, and then we check to see if calc is 1 the next time through the loop, then we want to execute this code. So if calc is 1, we'll execute C1 is C1 plus delta C, uh, the variable, and R1 variable is R1 plus delta R. And then if C1 is less than 0 or C1 variable greater than or equal to C1 max, we've set C1 max and R1 max as constants up here. Then we want delta C to be minus delta C. We can do that by just subtracting it from 0. So a little subtractor that subtracts from 0 will do that. And then we'll check to see for the R's. If R1 variable is less than 0 or greater than or equal to R1 max, then we'll set delta R1 to minus delta R1 by subtracting it from 0 again. And when we're done, we'll set C1 and R1 to the C1 variable and R1 variable. So here's the bounce then in C clock. We'll use a slow clock, maybe maybe the 190 hertz. We'll move it across the screen in about a second, say. Uh, go R1, C1 are the outputs. We'll define the constants to be 400 and 320. And then this is the algorithm that we just went over. So well, that's Bounce. Now VGA Screensaver will have the VidOn and HC and VC uh, coming in from the VGA 640 by 480 module. M comes in from the uh, block ROM. C1 and R1 will come in from Bounce. The ROM address goes out to the block ROM and then we'll output the red, green, and blue. So in this is very similar to what we did for the um, lesson that we had when we had the loons in the block ROM. X picks and Y picks are the same. Sprite on is the same. Uh, the width and the height, the 240 by 160. So all this is the same as the uh, last lesson. We calculate the ROM address the same way we did before. And we compute the red, green, and blue the same as we did before. So the only basic difference in the screensaver is that we're getting the C1 and the R1 from the bounce module. So this is the top level design. We can write it in the usual way, M clock, V sync, so these are all the same as we've seen before. And we just uh, port map clock div, port map our VGA 640 by 480, and then we'll clock map our, map our screen saver. Here's the loons. This is from the block ROM. Clock pulse produces the go one. And here's the bounce. It's going to get go one as an input. And C1 and R1 are the outputs. So this top level design you can download into the FPGA board. And when you press button zero to set go, it should set the loons in motion and you've made yourself a screensaver.